Hey everybody, welcome to the video. Well, I've already kind of looked at these at the post office. I couldn't help myself. And these are the rings I did spy, I bought. It was an auction, 1,000 grams, sight unseen of sterling rings. And supposedly this guy has had them forever and his, some of them could be old and vintage and blah, blah, blah. So I thought I'd be outbid, but I wasn't. And he's sold quite a few of these. He has a lot of neutral feedback. And I'm just not going to give any feedback. But if I did, it would be neutral. Uh, but anyway, having said that, you know, it is what it is. And we're going to look at the, the rings. So, um... Of course, it was 95 plus tax because he's in Texas, and then the shipping was under $5. And, of course, Sheila <clears throat> wants some rings, but, y'all, I'm not going to give her any of these. <laughs> it just doesn't feel right. It feels like they should come out of a jewelry bag or something different, not just, you know, here's a bunch of rings. But let's just get started and look. I'll let y'all be the judge. You know, this is not, I don't think that's turquoise, and it's not even a pretty stone. And let me see if it's even marked. It reminds me of the ones I bought at the antique mall a while back, and people said that's kind of that fake silver-plated stuff. <clears throat> that's what these remind me of. Yeah, it's barely marked 925, but it's probably going to be not test as 925. And I'm selling mine as costume. I'm not even saying, well, I'd say it's Mark 925, but I'm not saying silver rings or any of that. Um, there's that one. And my friend was saying they were like in between, all of them are like an in between size. You know, they don't really fit her, they don't fit me. And they're not even, <clears throat> uh, I don't know, not even nice enough to go in the treasure chest. So. <clears throat> I'm not sure because I don't think they're real sterling. Now, some of them are pretty. And if I forget about how much I paid, I would be thrilled, you know, with the rings because I do like rings. That says 925. That's a dyed stone. It is a stone. It's cold. And that is a pretty ring. And the good thing on a positive note, look at that. That's pretty. On a positive note, I need to count how many it is. I think it's like $10 a ring or something. Uh, on a positive note, these are the kind of rings that you wear, and if you bang them or lose them or whatever, you don't you don't worry about it. Because I, I tend to not want to wear jewelry because I did metal detecting, and I don't want to lose any. That's how I am. So that's a pretty stone. Sheila, Sheila, look at her back there. Y'all feel like I sh Sheila, okay. Sheila likes the rings. Okay, I'm feeling a little better. You like the rings, Sheila? Okay. Now, my friend really likes this ring, which I do not like because it's a lot of weight of the dyed halite. And that's just, you know, I think he's targeting... You know, he's got, gotten these rings that are, quote, Mark 925. That one might not even be marked. And then he's got these heavy, cheap stones in there. And it's my fault. It's okay. It was one of those nights where I was looking on eBay because I couldn't get to the dumpster. Yeah, that one's not even marked. So that one's not even marked. Um, I do love sterling rings, and that's what got me. But my friend really likes this one, so she is actually going to wear it. And um, I just have to sell some books and make up. Now, story behind this. This is going to be my favorite ring out of here, and this is the saving grace for me. Because of the mahogany, mahogany obsidian. Is that a gorgeous stone or what? And that is a real mahogany obsidian stone. They're not rare or anything, but the story is a few years ago, 
And this speaks to some of y'all that have asked, do you do you sell your sterling? Do you melt it? What do you do? Scrap it, whatever, or the gold? And so I had linked whoever asked recently. I had to put a link to the treasure box video because any sterling if I find it in the dumpster it goes in a whole different category it's it's out in the bedroom it's in a see-through uh, display case but the big treasure box is full of things that have either been sent to me or bought out of at thrift stores or you know for lower price or garage sales but I don't go to those that one's not marked either, I don't think. Anyway, I kind of going on and on, but whatever. Yeah, it's marked 925. Whether it is or not, I don't know. But, you know, they just don't have that, any kind of tarnish to them. Um, anyhow, let me get back to the story. <clears throat> we have a lot of pollen around here, but I'm doing pretty good have not gotten sick and our spring break is next week so I'll have a whole week off and I'm gonna go to a neighboring town and hit their Salvation Army thrift store and they do carry jewelry on occasion when I call they're always like well just check back tomorrow you know check back tomorrow yes ma'am we just had some anyway <clears throat> on one of my little road trips going to a little job I did uh, coming back, I hit a little little mom and pop thrift. The man was in there, and um, I bought a sterling cross. Uh, I should link the video. I'll try to link the video in this one. I think I paid seven dollars for it, and it was Mexico Taxco nine two five, gorgeous from the seventies. I sold it for sixty something dollars, but I regretted it. I have ever since, I have not had a mahogany uh, obsidian. I haven't found any ever since. That was like three years ago, I think. I'll have to look at the video. But um, So when this popped out, and you know, I was looking at these in the car. This popped out, I'm like, well, that's the saving grace. I love, and they're pretty rings. I can't complain. They're just, you know, I'm just not going to give them feedback. I'm not going to. I just kind of, whatever. But um, I love mahogany obsidian. So that one, at first I was like going to go, you know, flip sterling and all that if I bought it. And I flipped that one for a good profit and immediate regret. So that's why I do not. You know, it's easy to get money from other sales. It may not be fast and big profits like that or big, you know, margins of profit. But... It's just easier to sell some books, and I'm not, I'm not attached to any of the books. <laughs> so that's the story of the Mahogany Obsidian. So Sheila, Sheila, let's just talk to you for just a second. Talking to little Sheila here. <clears throat> You're still going to get a ring that is meant for you, Sheila. These are just some rings, and I know you enjoy them. And I know you like all rings, so you are going to be surrounded with rings. And Billy Bob is very, very happy for you today. He is just goo-goo-eyed and patient and uh, checking on you that you're, and you're getting happier. And they don't need to be cleaned by Miss Diabolical Bunny and Buddy the Cleaner. And uh, Shelly, we're not going to share in cluck. We're not going to share the gems because some of them, like the mahogany obsidian, are some actual gems. They're going to. They're all going to go to Sheila for now. Okay, so let's look at another one. That's a pretty one. My issue is this: the silver. I don't. <clears throat> I think it's plated. I mean, I'll test it, and it'll float blue, but it floats blue. It doesn't um, stay on the streak blue. So when that happens, I, I don't have confidence. That's a pretty ring. And it's big. I like that. And I love Tiger's Eye. That's a real stone. That is, that's cold. So that's pretty. I think y'all are probably enjoying this more than I did. It's just I felt bad about spending the money. 
That's a beautiful ring, Sheila. Sheila, that's a beautiful ring. I'll borrow that when I go to work. Here's a little one. And, I mean, it's stamped 925, so, you know, he can't. And these are, um, I don't know that these are emeralds because they are open on the back. If those are real, you know, that's nice. They're small, but that's pr they're pretty. That's not going to fit there. That's the size of that one. It's awfully loose on me. <clears throat> this one. And any suggestions y'all have about the stones? Um, is it marked? I need to see if this one's even marked. Yeah, this is not marked. That is a piece of plastic there. I see copper. I mean, that's plated. You can just see the copper. Definitely, that's plated. I can't wear it. I mean, that's just a solid. You can see that copper coming through and then the plating on it. <clears throat> uh, that might be like a little mother of pearl. Now, this one I did like. It kind of looks older to me. It is small. And I believe it's moonstone. Am I right on that? I've never had a moonstone. It does have like an iridescent, but it does not remind me of um, opal. It's too see-through. Open on the back, and it's another one of those. So I think that that is a moonstone. It's pretty. It's got some fire down in there, though, so I'm not sure. When you're looking at it with the uh, loop, it's red down in there. It does not come across on the camera at all. So I need to look and see if Moonstone has some red. It's a pretty stone. I do like that ring. And then there's this one, which is pretty feminine um, I don't think this one's marked and I bet that that's painted because I've come across rings where that is actually that's not lapis that's gonna be painted on No mark on that one. See, they're just too big and too small and all that. Yeah, it's it's painted on. <clears throat> so that's that one. And then my friend really liked this one. It does have a mark. Uh, CBS 925 so that might be you know a ring from a different source that actually might be sterling with the cubic zirconia it's a pretty ring yeah I see why my friend liked it it's a it's a very pretty ring she was like okay That is a, actually a beautiful ring.
I'm probably going to test this and compare it to the others, but it is what it is. I'm not going to resell. See, that's the thing also is I can't really resell and get my money back because I would sell them as fashion and the ones I have on right now is fashion or not selling. This is a, a beautiful ring as well. I don't know if it's marked. I haven't looked. And it that looks like a gorgeous big amethyst. I don't know how to tell if it's something is real like that. Um, it's got some markings in there. 925. Probably a couple of crystals. Some type of crystal with a little bluish. But that stone... It could be lab created as well. It's so purple. It doesn't look, you know, like it's so purple. Amethyst has a lot of cloudiness to it. And there's no cloudiness in that that I can see. And it could be glass too. I don't know. It's a pretty ring. Then we have this little one. I do have a diamond tester, but I'm and they are open it's open on the back so they could be but I'm not sure and let me see if it says anything in here probably just cubic zirconia CZ925 so cubic zirconia 925 does that go with this other one I'm just wondering if that's Sometimes it doesn't really go with it. The that's pretty though, isn't it? This is a little bit more of a gray. This is more of a white silver. And the last ring, let's see what it looks like. Oh, hard to tell. It's not black. It looks black on the screen. It's like a, it's a red. Let's see if it's marked while I'm in here looking. No mark. It's a pretty ring. It's almost too small. <clears throat> This looks so black, but it's it's a red, dark, dark red, like a oh gosh, I don't even know how to describe it. It may be a garnet. It's cold, or it could be just glass. It's pretty big if for a garnet, so it's probably glass, but I don't know. It's really a pretty unusual color. That's not the way it goes. So how many rings? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve rings. About a hundred and eight dollars. Anyway, um, not all of them marked. And they don't really have that deep silver look that I like. But Sheila got her a bunch of rings, I guess. And, um, of course, she's still going to appreciate the rings that come out of the jewelry jar. That's just one or two of them. And I appreciate y'all joining us. That's our ring lot. And there are some pretty rings, but uh, they're not what, you know, some of them are not what you think they are. Thanks for joining us. See y'all next time.